Chapter 1. How the head of Central Asian drug dealer, Emamala Sharipovich Ramanov, Emamala Raman, become a president of Tajikistan. Tajikistan has fallen totally into corruption, it has nearly 10 million population. The world does not know anything about what is going on in Tajikistan, due to the total control of the nation by cutting the wings of the people. Everything started way before the collapse of the USSR, in 1978 when the demand to drugs was going high in the world. Tajikistan was a hub to distribute drugs throughout the Soviet Union and Europe. One of the reasons was when USSR started the war in Afghanistan and some of the members of the mafia in the USSR was getting benefits from this which lasted for 10 years. The experts say the war between USSR and Afghanistan collapsed the economy of the USSR, and made some of the key people richer by making money and investing on privatization of the key industries of USSR. We can talk about this forever, such a huge empire was collapsed because of the money, and many others on past did the same. However, the influence still remains in Tajikistan, and this virus is killing people every day and the media are calm because they are scared. There are a lot of questions, and we can try to answer all of them. So you know who is Emamali Raman? First question, who is Emamala Sharipovich Ramanov or Emamali Raman? Second question, why the almost 10 million population of Tajikistan, and the world is calm on what is going on in Tajikistan and why nobody puts any sanctions against this fake government which was established too many years ago and the ruler who is a president of Tajikistan since 1994? Other questions will be collected and answered on the comments. Please put your likes and subscribe. Emamali Raman was involved in the illegal drug trade since 1978, and he was one of the key person involved in drug traffic through Tajikistan from Afghanistan to USSR and Eastern Europe. His annual profit was nearly 20 million US dollars and his closest allies were Russian Mafia currently president of Russia Vladimir Putin, yes, KGB was involved in drug traffic, one of the key elements to govern the mess. Emamali Raman was well equipped financially and knowledge and was aware that one day he will need to buy the government by Russian help. And, he used the next tactics to make it happen. He was financing the group of riots in Tajikistan by allowing the trade of drugs in Tajikistan already in 1989, and the addiction to the drugs was reaching already 300,000 people of Tajikistan whilst the population was only 4.5 million of Tajiks. The chaos, the chaos started. In 1990 the USSR totally collapsed and lost any influence. Tajikistan was still remaining under influence of Russian mafia, but the Communist Party abandoned the Tajik government. The first president of independent Tajikistan became Mr. Kahor Mahamov, who was tied to Communist Party, and was waiting for the instructions from Moscow. However, Unfortunately Moscow never came back during his presidency. Kahor Mahamov was the first legit president, but with the communistic views to rule Tajikistan which was not a way to rule in the landlocked Tajikistan, when the news and information were too far to reach the population especially whilst the people were busy with their everyday business in the agri. People totally became confused, when the head of the Central Asian drug dealer so-called Emamali Raman started his investment on buying the government and privatization of the Tajikistan. The Pamirayans were sponsored by AGA Khan, who had influence over bad action and was interested to build a democratic society versus the current ruler at that time Kahor Mahamov who was more to communistic society. At the other hand, Iranian society who was interested to create a legit Islamic government. Whist looking at the other hand, there were 4 million uninformed population, who had just realized that they left without a job, and were looking to survive with their families. The head of Central Asian drug dealer, Emamali Rahman behind the scene was investing onto this 4 million people. Let's go back to Aga Khan, Aga Khan is one of the famous imams of Ismailis and has mutual understanding with Iranian policy, so these group of people united and created several organizations which are still active, but do not have any influence such as Aga Khan Foundation and this foundation has also become as for profit organization, but we will discuss about this on our next videos. The funds in the US currency were falling from the pocket of Aga Khan and Iranian government to create a legit democratic and Islamic government. In 1991 the group of people from all over the rural Badakhshan were arriving to the capital of Tajikistan to make a peaceful protest against communistic party, it was continuing for a long time about until the middle of 1992, especially international monitoring groups were there as well by the establishment of the Democratic Party and Islamic Party which was called United Tajik Opposition who are Islamic Renaissance Party, IRP, Rastahe, Rebirth, the Democratic Party of Tajikistan, DPT, and Lala Badakhshan, Ruby of Badakhshan. The process of democratization was smoothly becoming real, until the population was poisoned. The Russian Mafia, who were part of KGB at that time, and Emamali Raman, the head of Central Asian drug dealer made a deal to continue making the profit by selling drugs in the post-Soviet states and Eastern Europe, at that time, the drugs dealers were making annually up to 200 millions of US dollars, if they wouldn't get involved now or it would be very late to lose the profit. It was unacceptable. Emamali Raman started the drug distribution for free, the drug was going into each industry, which was kept selling by the Tajik government at that time there was deficit of meal and food so that is how Tajik government was making its GDP. 
people were not working, and they were just waiting just to start something. To start something? The plan which was created by Emma Raman and KGB, initiated. Russian mafia hired Russian KGB who hired Mr. Vladimir Vasilyevich Kvachkov who was already based in Uzbekistan to help the man behind the scene become next president of the Republic of Tajikistan. Vladimir Kvachkov was already informed and equipped about the politics in post-Soviet states who helped in past Mr. Ilom Karimov to stand as a first president of Independent Republic of Uzbekistan. Russian KGB knew him as a great asset in Central Asia. Vladimir Kvachkov was using influence from the national history and the religion, and was looking for the key people who would be very well recognized, respected, and feared in Tajikistan, and get Emma Mali Raman to the scene of light from behind the scene, in past the head of Central Asian drug dealer, but now he is an agrarian roots from the people to become next president of Tajikistan, sweet, right? Kvachkov knew all criminals at that time and found Sangak Safarav who was already involved in the drug trade in Central Asia since early 1968 years with Chechen Republic and in total 23 years in prison, so he was one of the key persons in the Tajik prison. Kvachkov also was aware about him because Sangak Safarav was also an informer for KGB and was sharing the profit, and he could be one of the key person to whom Kvachkov might trust. When Sangak Safarav, Emma Raman, and Vladimir Kvachkov met together in early 1991, they were making already a plot to start the process against the United Tajik opposition and make the money. Emma Raman invested about 400 million US dollars to buy military from Russian KGB and drugs in order to distribute among the KULOBN who were left without job and support from the government of Tajikistan and none of the Kulobian were involved in the United Tajik opposition, that was the best first turn of Emma Raman to poison the population of Kulab. Kulab became very thirsty and hungry after receiving drugs and military, the thousands of Kulobian, drug addicted, were brought to the capital city of Tajikistan to fight against United Tajik opposition by promise that they will rule the Tajikistan. There were some misunderstanding, but there were enough drugs, military, weapon but no bread, no food, no government. The chaos covered all over Tajikistan except Leninabad region which was still under influence of Uzbekistan, just because not to overlap the strategy. People were killing people, the only reason was. Number 1. Drugs which were distributed by Emamali Raman for free. Number 2. Military and weapon which were distributed by Emamali Raman for free. Number 3. Limited access to food which was a project by Emma Mali Raman. Number 4. The famous and influential people, Safar Ali Kenjiv, Mohammad Asimai, Talib Baboev, Otak Han Latifi, Karamay Dalo Kurbanov, and many more, who were part of United Tajik opposition or were not agree with Emma Mali Ramanov's regime were kept killed by the regime of Emma Mali Raman. Number 5. Emma Mali Raman created an intoxicated society who are scared to trust in God and believe to future without his permission. Drugs do its job. Number 6. Emamali Raman fears everyone by saying the words we came with blood, and will leave with blood. Till now, this tactics and philosophy is one of the key strategy of Emamali Raman. 7. 8. Numbers of unlawful acts just could get high if we count them now. But, we do not have much time to highlight them all, just because the numbers getting high now. In December, 2nd 1991 Raman Nabiev becomes the second legit president of the independent republic of Tajikistan, but he will be killed shortly by Emamali Raman. With this situation, Whilst Emamali Raman does not have any competitors he can play his game without any barriers and raise the support of other countries and export drugs till now. Sangak Safarab was one of closest allies of Emamali Raman, instructed him to build a background, as a result they created a fake background for the drug dealer who become a tractor driver of a small town in Dangara, but when Sangak wanted to get more power and more money, he will be shot by the order of Emamali Raman, and then nobody would not be able to provide any proof of his background because everyone who knew the truth will be killed. Do we need to be patient still? to be continued.